and look who's here to help. Hi. Akito. Akito. What? What? You're just so pretty. Yeah, you're just so pretty. Okay, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do something here. <laughs> no, I. It's almost like work. Oh, you big baby. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Ow! Okay, that's enough. Get down. Get down. Get down. Get down! <laughs> Get over here. Get over here! She might be happier than I am. Look at it! I got a box on the table. <clears throat> I've been uh, lucky enough to get contacted by the fine folks at Rock Hobby. Yeah, also known by another name as I'm sure you guys have said. And I'm almost trying to keep this a surprise because even at this point, the thumbnail is probably going to be the truck with the title, right? So at this point, I'm going to be more surprised than you guys are because I don't know what color it is. <laughs> but in this box, oh, I need a new knife. But in this box is that guy, the fire horse from Rock Hobby, 118 scale crawler. Come on. Do, 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 do. Get out of there. It looks like I got a red one. It's in one of those great boxes. Um, so I already have the Atlas 6x6. Yes, I need to do more videos on that thing because I really like that truck. Let's see what it just says. Okay, there's a lot. I don't know if I'm going to read everything. Here comes Rock Hobby 118 Fire Horse uh, from Vents, Vehicle Body, Detail, Interior, Center Console, Foot Pedals, Foot Pedals even, holy crap. Uh, the grill they talk about, realistic pinion, ring and pinion, function, indicator, blah, blah, blah. I know I'm not making a lot of sense, but some of you are picking it up. Uh, feature packed, trail proven chassis, aluminum rails, multi link geometry, so we'll see what that is. Three or four, unsure. Oh, there's dimensions. Wheelbase, 167. Total vehicle length, 276. Wheelbase, uh, wheelbase width, center to center, 94 of the tire. And then uh, outside to outside of the tire, 116. Water resistant, 2S 7.4 electronics, consists of an independent servo, a two-in-one receiver ESC combo, an 050 motor, and a 300 milliamp two cell battery. Up to 30 minutes runtime, they're saying. <clears throat> yeah. Again. I love these cases. Should know how to open one already. Is the thing on the side going? Is there tape? There's probably tape. I don't see tape. I just need stronger fingers. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay, ooh, that's a nice color. Remote, slightly different. Oh man, look at that. I don't know what any of those are going on yet, or what's going on with those buttons yet, but it's got toggles. Huh, I'm gonna have to do some reading apparently. That wasn't part of the deal. Charger. The unit. Nice. Right away, there's a feel of weight. It does not feel too much like a, man, that's a nice red. I don't have many red vehicles. Hold on, there's a little sticker here on the hood. I'm going to take that off. Does that mean the hood opens? Don't look like it. Maybe it does. It does. So yeah, the hood opens. <laughs> And the vents are real. You can actually see through the vents. I know you guys can't see them right now, but you can see through the vents. There's a little metal mesh over them. There's some nice detail. See if I can get this battery out of there comfortably. Battery's out. So for now, it's just got one of those micro connectors on it. I'm sure it's got a name, but I don't know it. Um, yeah, 380 mod 2 cell, uh, 5C discharge, probably all you need. 2-in-1 ESC receiver combo, uh, that's a new looking one to me. I haven't seen that guy before. 
but some of you may have. Again, the weight of it is a uh, full functional spare. Totally looks like the others. Yep. Do, 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 do. I haven't looked at the manual that yet at all. Oh, I was going to take the body off, but it looks like it's screwed on. So that's why they do the hood thing for the battery, I'm assuming. Then you don't have to. And plus, the battery location in front of the truck is what you want. The uh, inter interior looks awesome. I may have to actually take... Before I go any further, I just, give me a second. I'm going to plug this sucker in just so... Because I know shortly we're going to want to try this guy. I'll, I'll be right back. Oh, it came with a metal wheel wrench. Again, I think that's a step up from stuff I've seen before. That's awesome. The 118th game is coming along from people. Okay, batteries on the charger. I don't know what else I can go over. You have mirrors, door handles are painted, snorkel. There's windshield wipers. Of course, they're not functional, but they're there. So at scale points, you go into a competition with stuff. Now, people are probably thinking about what's it like on the bottom compared to the Atlas. Well, I'll tell you right now, I like those pumpkins way better than pretty much anything else I can think of that I've had in this scale of truck. Looks like plastic drive shafts, four link front and rear, coil springs, uh, not, uh, not oil, metal chassis. Let's grab the Atlas, because I want to know what it looks like underneath compared to it. Because it's been a long time. So hold it, <clears throat> holding this Atlas up compared to this, this guy is actually heavier. I'm really wanting to take off the body now and have a look at the motor that's going on in there, because yeah, it's heavier than the Atlas, and I've made mods to this guy. But underside, there's your Atlas, and there's the new Fire Horse. So it is a different setup, it's a totally different transmission plate. The mounting's different for Lynx, it is not the same truck. Oh, I can see the motor there. <laughs> I learned it. Sorry Molly. I put the Atlas down in the box from this truck and it fell over on the molly. Sorry, baby. Yeah, you're okay. Sucky dog. Okay, you can kind of see the motor there. And if I tilt it a bit, if the light hits it, you can see how long... No, that's not doing it. Where did I see that? I can see it, but it's so hard to get the camera to do it. Let's see if I can get this right. You can see how long the can is there a bit underneath the... there. That spot there. You can see how long the can is. So that's a pretty long can, which means that's a torquey motor. But yeah, the interior is full. That's really impressive. I wish I could get a better camera shot. Maybe I'll try. Hold on here. No, it's so hard to get the angle. No, that's not working. Okay. So that's not working very well with the old camera. Um, it's not the camera's fault, it's my fault. I got to see what it takes to take the body off. The light kit may be affected. Man, there's lots of lights going on. Okay, I'm going to take a minute and read this here instruction thing. Uh, just because I want to know what all the buttons do on the remote. Because I haven't watched anybody else's video on this guy yet either. Now I'm going to take the body off, we're going to have a look inside while that battery charges. Alright, learning as I go with you guys. So the body was uh, five screws to take off, not a big issue. It's got some weight to it, like it's, it's a solid little body. Um, wires are quite short, so it's really hard to uh, manage the thing and hold it and show you. But uh, ESC's got many more ports for different lights you can add to it. So it's all set up, but the wires are really short. But check out that interior. Really nice. So it's going to look good on videos. Like the steering wheel and the dash are all done up. Can you see the... You see the dash very well? I know, I need better lighting, I'm sorry. And there's pedals even, like it said. Oh no, there's not, sorry. I take that back. 
I'll edit that out. <laughs> okay, so that's pretty sweet. Like the body and everything, I can't wait for the battery to get some juice in it. I can try it before. And yeah, the remote. So I was doing some reading. <coughs> And I guess all your ESC parameter settings are done for the remote, if I'm reading this right. And then uh, it shows you a little diagram about what all four buttons do. So in the first one, we got, if it's down, forward, reverse, and brake. Or if you put it up, it's just forward, reverse. Yeah, we want that. So that button's up. You're going to need something, a small tool. That's what she said. Yeah, we won't we'll use that guy. <clears throat> Toggle number two, battery type, LiPo. Yeah, it's already a LiPo. Drag brake. It has a drag brake. That's so happy to hear because the biggest, or not biggest issue, I guess it would be the biggest issue. I've had a few 118ths over the last couple of years, thank, thank, mainly because of Medic. But all the ESCs that came in them were just free rolling. I don't know what the proper term is, but there's no drag brake. They were racing ESCs or whatever you call it. So crawling with them was really hard. So this thing's got a 0%, 50%, 75% or 100%. So that the last two toggles, depending on how you want it, both down is zero, the one on the right up is 50, the one up on the left with the right down is 75, and then if they're both up, it's 100. So I'm gonna start at 50. So that means I pulled down number three and number four goes up. So that should be good to go on that. All right, so that's cool. You can set the drag brake for the remote. That's actually a really nice feature. The tires are nice. I was looking at that earlier. Let me see if I can get this back together a little bit. It was real fun getting it apart. <laughs> yeah, the five screws weren't bad. I just I don't want to damage anything. I know they're good trucks. Like I, People have said that FMS and Rock Hobby are toy grade and I wholeheartedly disagree. I have uh, done a fair amount to the Atlas and then there's also I think the D12 is under their banner as well. The uh, the little guy there, I had it out on a on a semi run. It's a pretty cool unit, and it looks like Bubbles truck from Trailer Park Boys. So yeah, I think a few people have gotten those around town. Just looking at stuff as I talk. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh yeah, I was looking at the tires there earlier. I'm sorry. I'm just admiring the truck. It's it's a well built truck. It's nice. And I really like the diffs. Now the Atlas diffs are nicer than the, uh, I can't even remember what that other one is. The one that has the oil filled shocks off the shelf, I can't remember what it is off the top of my head right now. Yeah, it's not there. I do like the, uh, the uh, Atlas diffs better than that other truck. I can't remember the name of it. You guys probably know it. And then these ones are nice and flat and there's still a ring and pinion. So that's a decent amount of ground clearance there. And again, I like the tires. They're nice and soft. What do they say? They are Terraz, T-E-R-A-Z. They say they're 19 inch scale. Speaking of scales, got my mighty little scale out. So the only thing gonna be missing from this weigh-in for this guy is gonna be the five screws, which I hopefully you guys don't care. Take that off. Eh, might as well leave it on, it might help the truck. Power. Hello. It always says hello to me. So it's in grams. It, hopefully it's under 500. Otherwise I gotta get my other scale. Ah, it's overloaded. Hold on. Alright, I got my big scale out. This guy does up to 20 pounds. Mode. No, tar. Mode. Kilograms and grams. Okay, so truck goes on, 543 grams without the battery, this is the stock battery for the unit, 562, that's a decent weight, and I like, again, I like these tires, they're soft, tires are huge, and the drag brake ESC, that's such a huge change, compared to other vehicles in the past that I've had, or driven even, Man, the drag brake is just, it's so everything for a crawler. And the fact that they have one on there and it's adjustable at uh, four different levels, that's great. That's a, to me, that's, that's huge. Okay. I'm going to put this thing back together, get this back on the charger while I do that, and that'll be enough for me to give it a quick little uh, 
turn it on, see the lights, and try to... This is not going well. It snapped into place nicely, it's just... I'm not great with tiny screws. I have tiny fingers, but they're also not accurate. Like, for instance, I keep dropping them. Get it in the hole. Do good for your hole. Easy. There. Two. La, la, la. Two. You know what? Three screws go in the back. Or, uh, yeah, there's three screws across the back. I'm thinking I'm just going to put the one in the center for now. Alright, oh, solid enough for this guy, that's for sure. Remote. Yeah, <laughs> she's a little bouncy. But that's okay, because i got a set of shocks off that truck that doesn't want to work anymore. And I can't find a motor for it anyways. So I got some oil-filled chocks that might find their way in here. It looks like AAA bats. I'm going to assume there's four required. All right. That's on. That's off. <laughs> Come here, battery. Do, do, do. Get butterflies. Love new RC. They always smell fantastic. that there that guy's turned on power switch on lights come on it is hold on I got this there's a lot of wiring going on in here it's awesome there we go yeah so the hood just snaps down no pins that's nice nice and clean why did the lights go out Turn it back on, they come on for a second, then they just go out. Okay, no, I'm wrong. They operate like that. And then when you turn, you got blinky blinky. What goes on in the back? Let's see. Okay, so the brake lights come on when you back up. But that could be because of the setting I have it on, because I have it on crawler, re crawler reverse, so no brake. So if you turn the brake on, hell, I can do that quickly, can't I? With the new fangled remote, I just gotta remember what button it is. Hold on, I don't remember, I gotta look. Drag brake forward reverse is on number one. So I click number one down, does it change anything? Well, the brake lights come on when you brake brake. I'm going back though. That is nice to be able to do that from the remote. That is sweet. Dude, I think these guys did a really good job here. Like, the ability to control that stuff from the remote. Like, you can change your drag brake on the fly from the remote. I'm sure there's other things out there that do it. But for me, this is the first. I have not seen that before out of an RC. And I am happy about it. So I just checked maximum steering. Yeah, you guys can't see. I'm sorry. I just check maximum steering and see they don't see how far they have it set at because you can send change that as well. Oh, that was throttle. That's fine. Steering trim looks straight enough. Yeah, works. There we go. Now we got some serious steering happening. So what you want to do is you want to set it up. So when you turn, I always look at the pumpkin bar. The bar that connects the two knuckles from side to side. You always want to set that up so it's just at its maximum. If you go any further than that, that's when you start breaking servos. Power. Oh yeah. So there's two driving modes as well. 
It comes on normal, but you can also change it to beginner. Oh, guys. It's got slow crawl. And it's not loud. Like, every, <laughs> again, I, got, I have to compare it to other RCs I've had. I gotta remember what the name of that other one is. It's driving me nuts. This thing, you guys, you guys know this one. I can't remember it, but it's got the oil-filled shocks, which is the only nice thing about it, really, because, or not the only nice thing, it was a good RC. It's just that when the motor died, I, had, I can't find one. I gave up on it a while ago. So if I had to end up stealing parts from that guy for this guy, um, that's really nice to drive because the other every that's what I was gonna say. All the other RCs I've had, like the even the Atlas and everything, that was a really loud squealy RCs with no drag brake. It's almost silent. Like, can you guys hear the squeal? It's barely there. That's awesome. Has no problem to putting out power, tons of torque. I'm impressed. Let's try that drag brake out. So it's at 50%. Well, the tires lose, lose grip on foam before she rolls. Yeah, it's it's there. Like you can still roll it. The drag brake is good. Drag brake on a 118th full interior, two cell ready, waterproof, lit up, good tires, good ground ground clearance, no squeal, adjustable drag brake, and crawler option on the remote. Dude, I'm sold. The fire horse. The fire horse is a great unit. Now you can go ahead and talk about uh, oh, it's a Jeep rip off or whatever. I don't give a shit. I don't care if they have a license to whatever. They can call it whatever they want. That is great. Oh, I may have too much steering. Did you see that chug lug? Watch this. It starts to do that. That means the uh, steering has gone too far and the cup and ball that is in the steering linkage or in the steering drive and the drivetrain, it is unhappy about that. So I'm going to take that back just a touch. Still doing it. Still doing it. Almost starting to do it at that point. So you just play with the steer, uh, steering duration. I call it that. It's a steering DR, whatever. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm actually excited to run this. I'm really impressed. Like, no lie. I, uh, honest review. It, it's a good unit. Like, I'm already thinking about upgrades. It's going to be... I do with every vehicle, it's nothing against the vehicle. Um, I think I can change the lights so they're full time. And then I'm gonna put the oil damp and shocks from the broken unit onto this thing. And then maybe a, a find out a roof rack. I'm sure Rock Hobby's gonna have some aftermarket stuff. Maybe even got rock sliders for this guy. Possibly, or I hope in a roof rack. Possibly a different bumper, because it does have an LED looking bumper in there. But the bumper don't light up. Let's see if they surprise me again. Easy lot, easy. Now there's a third channel switch there. And I was just seeing if it did anything, nothing seems to happen. There's a fourth channel button. Oh! 
All the lights came on. They're pulsing. It's got light, some kind of light mode going on. Check it. I'm going to hit the button again. Are you coming back, lights? What's going on? I don't want to read about it. I want to learn about it. <laughs> I'm having so much fun. So it's got different light modes. So it's got the pulse. A quick pulse. Flash if you will. On all the time with blinker so the headlights stay on. Blinker's working in the back. Oh and it's got separate LEDs in the back too. It's got orange and red back there. And then normal. So normal is when you throttle, they come on. When you turn, it comes on. When you back up, they come on. The blinkers still work too. And the reds don't come on when you blink in the rear. Just the orange one. Yeah, and I'm impressed. I really am. That is a great little unit. I'm going to have to name it because I like it so much already. All right. I think I'm going to call the video with that. It's probably long enough. Um... I'm really happy with it. I'm, I'm going to sound like I'm repeating myself, but the fact that it's got drag brake alone makes me really happy. And you can control that from the remote, which is another fantastic aspect. It's two cell ready, it's waterproof. Sorry, I'm covering my mouth and stuff. It's two cell ready, it's waterproof, comes with a case, the full interior, the different light functions, nice soft tires. There's a small chance those are metal beadlocks. Are they beadlocks? They are beadlocks. Came with beadlock tires. Man, they almost feel metal. 563 grams, I think it was. I'm still really happy about the drag brake, I gotta say. That's awesome. Yeah, so I'm not... <laughs> sorry, I'm just... I really like it. I'm not gonna put up a link. Um, I got it from Rock Hobby, straight from them, but... Uh, try and support your local hobby store first. If you're in Calgary, I bet you Pat at Action Hobby can get you one because I know they can, they deal with FMS slash Rock Hobby. That's where I got my Atlas. Um, if not, just go to Google Rock Hobby and find out who your best distributor is because prices are going to be different here and there. Shipping costs are going to be different from here and there, so it doesn't matter where I got it from. But I got it straight from them. <laughs> oh, man. This is great. I can't wait for the running video. Thanks for watching.